Well, I just pushed live, so you better uh, you better be careful. Hello. Hi. I have the half sick Lisa Marie back with me here today. Uh, here. She was just doing something very funny that if I was to have caught that on camera, it would have been hilarious for you. <laughs> it would have been rather embarrassing for you. Yeah. Um, all right, folks. Hey, listen, first thing I got to talk about today is the fact that Michael Rosenbaum is the best Lex Luthor ever to be put on film. Mm -hmm. Want to make sure that's very clear at the very beginning of every single live stream. But we've got a whole lot of good things to talk about here tonight. Uh, thank you, Dylan Edwards, Zen Ginger. Uh, anybody else? I think that's it. Melissa Jaswald, thank you for the uh, thumbs up on the audio and video. Uh, <coughs> I was in here watching some I Prevail videos, not really paying attention. She comes in and there was literally two minutes before we had to stream. So I had to scramble and make sure everything was okay. Did I say two minutes until we had to scream? I, I meant to say stream. Yeah. I walked in. I was like, oh my God, the wind was blowing. It's been a rainy day. I'm like, Shh. anyways, it doesn't really matter what I said, but um, <laughs> yeah, John was said, like, a lot it of bad matter. words. Yeah, it doesn't I didn't matter. understand why she came into the room cursing me. Like I'm like, what? I've just been sitting in here getting ready for the live stream. I didn't do anything. <laughs> it's just been one of those days. <laughs> but I'm glad to have you back here. Last week, I don't think, I don't think I talked about fish at all, the entire stream. Oh, um, interesting. And I, I don't even remember what I talked about. I know I talked about you. I talked about the dogs and, and all of that kind of stuff. But uh, mm. we're here tonight. The stream is going to be driven by you, the Me. good folks. Not you. I'm pointing oh, to the camera. Sorry. See, My it, head is still cloudy, so. <laughs> but it makes it look like when I point to the camera, it makes it look like I'm pointing to you because she's directly behind my camera. Um, but no, the chat, it's all going to be about you tonight. Uh, put your uh, suggestions, your questions, your concerns, your statements, whatever it is that you want to put in the chat, put that in there. And that's what we're going to do. But we've got some things to talk about before we do that. First things first, the links are finally live for both tickets, uh, hard tickets, like to go to the event or pay-per-view. Uh, for Fins and Fury. If you're not familiar with what that is, it's going to be a bunch of fish keeping and animal YouTubers getting together and beating the crap out of each other in a boxing ring. And I am going to be commentating that along with my good buddy, Jason, Jay Wilson from uh, Jay Wilson. And <laughs> I'm very excited about that. It's going to be a lot of fun and it's going to be available on pay-per-view. I will be on pay-per-view with Jay and we will be commentating all of those fights. So if you're interested in that, uh, the website and links to buy tickets and all of that is down in the description. The um, the main event is going to be Joey Mullen, the king of DIY, fighting Rod from Predatory Fins. So that is going to be a spectacle to see. Yeah, it might not be Jake Paul, Mike Tyson, but it's still going to be a really, really cool uh, event to see. And I'll be commentating it. So... Oh, That's and I just found out some really good news, too, because I had to verify this just to be on the safe side, because I was like, hmm, is Joey sneaking uh, Rachel in there on the website? And so I went ahead and I reached out to her and I was like, Rachel, I've heard you're going to be at the fight. And she said yes. So. Rachel O'Leary will be there, so she that's going to be fun. She has not made an appearance in the fish keeping community for quite some time. So yeah, I'm so looking forward to seeing her. I haven't seen her since a long time ago, so that's going to be very cool to run into her. And also, now shoot, I should have probably looked into this prior to talking about it, but I actually found out the other day of another fighter... And I feel like a jerk because I am going to say his YouTube channel wrong. So Is I it wanna... the guy with the beard? No. Oh. Uh, well, he's he's fighting too, but uh, let me make sure I'm saying it right. It's Zach Summers, but I want to make sure. Uh, yeah, it's okay. I, 
there's a couple of channels that are very similar in name and I wanted to make sure I was saying the right one. It is SC Fishkeeping. Uh, Zach Summers, uh, a guy I've, I've met many, many times. Uh, he just popped up. Oh my up. gosh. Yeah. I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah. He hasn't, he hasn't come to any events in a while, but, uh, he is, when you, when you see him on video and then you see him in person, it's kind of like, oh, and I don't mean this in a bad way. He's a bigger guy than you think he is. I, I think I met him once, but I, it's been so long. Yeah. So I, I'm, uh. I feel sorry for whoever it is that is going to be fighting him. I have no idea who the fights are. I know one of them, but, uh, well, I know, uh, of course, Joey and Rod, and then uh, and then I know one more, but Lucas? I can't talk about that. Uh, you can't, we can't talk about that yet. Why I don't not? Because he's been, on Instagram. Has it been officially announced? Duh. I, well, no. I know. I've, announced, I've talked about who the fighters are, but I'm saying who they're actually fighting. I don't think I've... So. Oh, I don't know who's fighting who. Okay, well, then there you go. Joey and Rob. I know one of them. Actually, I know two of them. And, uh, but, I, you know, I'm not going to talk about that until they talk about it themselves. But that's going to be a lot of fun. Really looking forward to it. It's coming uh -huh. up in August. Uh, so if you want to be a part of that, you save 10 bucks on pay-per-view if you buy it early bird right now. Um, and something that, that you and I talked about the other day Um I want to kind of put my money where my mouth is because I was talking in last week's live stream about that if you buy pay-per-view and you use my code, uh, it's an opportunity for me to make a couple dollars. But here's the real deal, folks. I told you then, and I'm going to tell you again now, I don't particularly care about making any money from this event. It's not the purpose of me doing it. Uh, I do, I'm doing it because a friend asked me to do it and it's something I've always wanted to do. So I'm excited about it. So, uh, we've made the decision, whatever we make, um, on the, the, the commissions for the pay-per-view, we're just going to send right back to the legacy aquarium, which is, uh, Brian Barczyk's aquarium that he was building in Michigan, uh, before he unfortunately passed away. So, uh, Understand that if you do take advantage of that link that's down in the description right now and you order the pay-per-view, uh, you're going to be actually contributing money to that mm -hmm. event more because the proceeds of the event are already going to the Legacy Aquarium. We've just decided to send ours that way too. Uh, Brian Barczyk was a guy I, I hung out with a couple of times. I can't say that, you know, he was a really good friend. I talked to him a lot. Um, I was just getting ready to get getting to know him when he was unfortunately diagnosed. And it's very, very sad. Uh, I'm a big fan of what he was doing out there. And uh, I was really looking forward to, and still am someday making it out to Michigan to go to that aquarium when it's done. Um, so the event is going to be helping that, but we are also going to be helping that too. Whatever commissions we make from the pay-per-view, we're going to donate right back to the legacy aquarium. So there you go. Uh, you'll be helping a good cause in a couple of different ways. And, uh, and we're excited about that. Now, got to talk about something that you don't even know I'm going to talk about today, but it's your fault that I'm talking about it. And I'm pointing to Lisa, not you, the chat. Oh, yay. It's my fault. Uh, again, Lisa is right behind the camera. You sent me a link, and I had to dig back pretty far in our texts uh, to find it. You sent me a link one day that, uh, well, it kind of made me mad. Uh-oh. <laughs> to the Amazon thing. Huh? So, folks, I'm not getting ready to go on a long rant about Amazon. I'm not going to do it. I've done it too many times. I'm not going to do it. Uh, if you know me, you know my feelings about Amazon. Uh, I think Amazon is destroying our industry. Uh, Amazon's destroying a lot of industries, but... I'm very biased towards this industry and I hate what Amazon's doing to it. I dislike any company that is selling their product on Amazon. Oh. John, people sell, they sell Seachem titles and they sell all kinds of CJ products. And uh, yeah, but that's not them doing it. That is some douchebag in his garage trying to make a million dollars because he saw a guy on YouTube talk about he makes money drop shipping on Amazon. Those are the people that are doing that. It's not CCM and it's not CJ. Well, uh, 
she sent me a link that was an ad on Amazon for somebody selling live fish. <gasps> oh. On Amazon. Oh, that, yeah. <laughs> and I wish I knew who the person was that sent that to me to give me a heads up because I wanted to tell them thank you. When I went back, I couldn't figure out where, what message, where I got it. So I didn't get to tell them thank you. I, I had actually seen it before. Somebody sent it to me before you did, and I was just like, ah, oh, whatever. No, I, it was I, me. But then you sent it to me the second time, and I was like, that's when I, I got yeah. mad about it. The reason why I got mad about it is because they used a picture of me uh, from one of my videos holding up a, a bag of fish. You placed an order. This is what's funny about it. You, you Lisa Marie, posed... Uh, put in an order with Imperial Tropicals. Mm. We got those fish and we opened it. We did the unboxing of those fish on oh, video. Yeah, that's been like years ago. And in that video, I held up the bag and I was checking them out. And I actually screenshotted that and used that as my thumbnail. And it's it's actually a video that's done really well on our channel. Uh, not quite sure why, but it is. Um, and they took that picture <laughs> and the funny thing is, it's a picture of me holding up. It's actually one of the fish that's in that tank right now. Um, it's the ad that it's for on Amazon is for German blue rams. And the picture is me holding <laughs> up a bag with an OB Borlei in it. And that, actually that OB Borlei passed away. But yeah, that was it, my favorite fish. I that. know. I loved that fish so much. I don't even remember what happened to it. But uh but that's that's what's funny about it is that's the, first of all that's the only Ob Borley eye I've ever seen in my life, mm -hmm. and so it was really cool. Uh, the picture, the the fish actually didn't look good in the picture. So what I did was screenshotted the pic a picture of that fish in the tank it, from the video, and then took it out and put it in the bag. So that's actually it's totally a fake thumbnail. And they used that picture of me holding up a bag of, a, of an OB Borley eye on an ad for a German blue ram. <laughs> but it wasn't just that one. It was for a couple others, too. Yeah, I think they use it for all their fish. <coughs> the company, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call them out because I don't know these people. And these people are jerks. Uh, Neat and Tidy is the name of the seller on Amazon. Uh, it's funny that some people still believe that everything you order off of Amazon is coming from Amazon. It's not true. Anybody can start an account and sell stuff on Amazon. So there can be a guy in his basement, like these idiots, uh, neat and tidy, selling fish out of their basement, and they can sell them on Amazon. Um, so if you are someone, and I don't believe... This is the case. I don't think there's anybody watching this right now who would ever entertain the idea of ordering fish off of Amazon. I'm not going to call you a bad person if you order fish food and stuff like that off of Amazon. I mean, listen, we order stuff on Amazon, uh, not fish stuff. I won't do that because I do believe it's ruining our industry. I am the ultimate hypocrite, though, because if I need something that... You know, I, I don't have easy access to. I will order it from Amazon. I buy plant stuff and cat stuff and stuff. We, we don't live close to any major stores. So it's a half a day ordeal if we want to go to Walmart. So, you know, if I need batteries, it's like, okay, I'm going to be going to Walmart five days from now. Or I can just order it off of Amazon. I ain't worried about Walmart going out of business. But... I would not, I don't care how far away a fish store is, I would not order anything on Amazon about fish. And I certainly would not order live fish on Amazon. Uh. So here's the funny thing that I did because I was kind of fed up with this, pissed off about it. Uh, pissed off. I, that's not a bad word. I can say pissed off. I did the only thing I could do in uh, kind of retaliation for this. I typed up a rather spicy review one star but the only reason i did this was because i wanted the people to see it 
Uh, and I, I think I don't. Maybe I didn't go one star. I don't know. I might have gone two stars, because I like I just wanted the people to see it. I didn't really care about making them look bad. They do a good enough job themselves using pictures of me to sell German blue Rams. But anyway, uh, and it, basically my review was, I don't know who these people are. I'm the guy in the picture. I don't know why they use this picture. They were not given permission to use this picture. I don't really think you have to get permission. I mean, what am I, the rock? You know, I, I don't think I don't care if they had called me and asked me, I would have told them no, because I disagree with selling fish online. But like if Imperial Tropicals, who we bought that fish from, had emailed and said, hey, can we use that? Of course you can. You you don't even have to ask permission. You want to put that on your website? Go ahead. And even if I didn't like that, I don't know that I would have had any recourse. I, I don't know that that would have been a thing. But I told them I, I put in that review I don't know these people. I did not give them permission to use this. They used a picture of me that has nothing to do with what it is that they're advertising. Uh, hopefully, hopefully these people get better at their job and take their own pictures is basically what I said. And, uh, and, and it, it was rejected. <laughs> I wonder why. I got an email from uh, Amazon that said, your... Uh, your review does not meet our community guidelines. <laughs> I can understand if I had put in there a bunch of F-bombs and, you know, said controversial, but I was just like, no, I think I might have said idiots. I, I don't remember. Oh. But, uh, but yeah, so you won't see my review on there. But, uh, but listen, folks, Aww. how did I find out? I, two people sent it to me. Lisa sent it to me and then somebody else before her sent it to me. I don't remember who it was. Uh, they sent me a, a link to it and the first one I was just like, whatever, uh, who cares? Uh, but then when you sent it to me, for some reason I was in the right mood and it just, yeah. it just rubbed me the wrong way that I gotta day. I got to get you in the right mood. I tell you, uh, you're good at that. But, uh, <laughs> but I, you know, it just rubbed me the wrong way that day. And so I have nothing to do with that company, nor would I have anything to do with that company if they had called me and said, look. I'm not lying to you here. The only way I could ever prove myself is if it ever happened. If that company called me and said, John, I'm a loser in my basement, really trying to get my business up and running. Can I pay you $1,000 and use that picture? I would have said, uh, hey, no, absolutely not. Because you don't know what fish is what. <laughs> I'm not going to have my face represent a brand. Yeah, first of all, it's the wrong fish. And also, I'm not going to make it look like I am affiliated with a brand that I don't even know. And I'm damn sure not gonna affiliate myself with a brand that's selling on Amazon. No, not gonna do that. No. So uh, yeah, listen, don't buy fish off Amazon. You're not gonna get a lecture from me if you buy a filter or a, 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 some fish food or something like that. I don't like it, but I can't stop you from doing that. And I'd be a hypocrite because we order stuff off Amazon, but not fish stuff. Not fish but, stuff. Uh, and not fish. And certainly not fish. And not snails or shrimp either. Anybody that wants to sell on Amazon can sell on Amazon. Yeah, you do have to go through their approval process, but let's face it, Jeff Bezos wants as many people as possible selling on that platform. So mm. they make money every time they somebody makes a sale on their website, and they make a lot of money, which means... When somebody sells a fish on Amazon, they're making next to nothing, but they're hoping that they sell so many that the volume makes up for the lack of profit on each product. It's a business model that's been out there. I, I think Sam Walton might have been the first one to perfect it. I don't know. Maybe it was the Sears guy. But that style of marketing has been around forever, uh, and it works. But it also destroys industry. Look what Amazon did to the book industry when they first came out. So I, re I reported them for using your pictures without permission. I mean, I, listen, I'm not asking anybody to do that. Uh, I can't stop you from doing that either, but uh, <laughs> but I appreciate it. Good yeah. looking out, but uh, you know. I bought live plants on Amazon, house plants. House plants? Yeah. 
I have a really nice um, snake plant. The really big one that's in the living room now. I bought it a few years ago, and it's gotten really big. I'm going to tell you something I'm entertaining. Uh, there's two things that I'm going to be ordering off of Amazon probably in the next couple of days. One of them is the cotton candy mints from Bucky's. Because we live in the South. Bucky's is a Southern company, but they ain't gotten all the way up here yet. The closest uh, Bucky's to us is like seven hours away. But they're so, getting ready to put one over on the other side of Raleigh. The cotton candy mints from that place are so good. I would drive to the other side of Molly. Molly? Molly? Raleigh to get those. The other thing is the Crush uh, pineapple drink. Uh, it's my favorite drink in the whole wide world. I'm stuck drinking Skittles sour apple here now, uh, which is good, but I want I need the pineapple. And nobody around me has it. So At least it's not clear. It doesn't look like moonshine. Or yellow and look like urine. Everybody be like, is he yeah. drinking pee? Uh, if there was a Bucky's within a half an hour of us, I would go there twice a week to buy those mints. They're the best thing uh, I've ever had. Zen said she has a Bucky's right there. Well, I know where Zen. she lives, and I'm pretty sure that's where Bucky's started. Uh, like, she probably goes to the very first Bucky's that was ever made. Are you calling her old? No, the company's only been around for like 25 years. Now you're saying her age. She could be 26. She went there when she was an infant. Nobody oh, knows. Yeah, true. But anyway, uh, but don't don't order fish off Amazon. Come on. Uh, you get what you pay for. If you order off of Amazon, uh, you get what you got coming to you. How about that? So anyway, uh, have you found anything to talk about in here yet? What are we talking well, about in the chat tonight? You didn't anything? tell me I had to do that while you were talking. <laughs> Or did you? I said it, didn't I? <laughs> right before we started, I told her that. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, producer. Oh. That doesn't exist that's over there that I'm acting like I'm talking to. Oh. I guess then while I wait for you to do that, I can mention uh, DeMars has, has gone and done it again because it's just become the thing that DeMars does now. Thank you, DeMars. <laughs> uh, he didn't donate 10 memberships. No, he don donated 10 memberships twice. Uh, <laughs> for a total of 20, I think we have like 150 members right now that have all been gifted from Damar. So a lot of people get to watch our bonus videos on Sundays what? because of Damar's. What? Oh. Tim Russell said every day at work, I'm reminded that both Chipotle and Texas Roadhouse are coming to Elizabeth City. I heard about Texas Roadhouse, but Chipotle? I wish it was a Moe's instead of a, Ch a Chipotle. I know, but this Chipotle might be good. Uh, Leo 209 Aquatics said, what is a good source for Lake Tanganyikan fish? Good luck. I, I understand why you said Lake Tang fish, because who knows how to spell Tanganyika? Uh, you guys really like Imperial Tropicals, PS Buffers mm -hmm. rule. Uh, we've ordered, l listen, full transparency. We've ordered from your Imperial Tropicals twice and had a good experience both times. Yep. I um, ordered and gifted you fish. Yep. You will not hear us say anything bad about them. Um, listen, I'm just going to be brutally honest with you. I told you this. You probably weren't around, Leo, because you were probably still in diapers. But uh, in, in 2015, <laughs> I was diapers? telling you this. You're so uh, you know, because Leo's only like 17 years old. Uh, I told you Live Fish Direct back then. And I meant it back then. It was not because I was making money off of them, because I really didn't. Um, I meant it. Live Fish Direct uh, uh, is the premier online source for African cichlids on the internet. Now, again, out of full transparency, it's been a bit since we've ordered from them. Not for any reason other than, you know, we had some wholesale accounts. We were able to get fish from other places and stuff like that. Fortunate enough to be fa uh, friends with the bureaus who own, own Florida Exotic Fish Sales, which Live Fish Directs use as a source for a lot of their fish too. Um, that's where we got the Yellow Labs from. Mm -hmm. So we haven't had a need to order off of uh, Live Fish Direct. Uh, we've ordered from the Cichlid Shack a couple times, had good success there. I have a bunch of fluorescence breeding that we got from him. And I have to message James because he kept asking me like, 
are they bringing you fry yet? And I was like, no, I don't know what's going on. I don't know why they're not breeding. Now I need to message are. him and let him know that his fish are breeding. But um, Cichlichak has been good to us. Imperial has been good to us. Um, Life is Direct, to me, is like the gold standard mm. of online fish sales. Not, not just African cichlids, but as a whole. Uh, Dan's fish is also exceptional. I don't think he deals with too much um, African cichlids, but Life Fish Direct, that's where you go. That's that's the best place to do it. So there's your answer, Leo. Um, and uh, they have very good prices, lots of different sizes and stuff like that. I make nothing from telling you that. No, nothing. So just so you know that. So Reggie Regnier asks long shot but any suggestions for online fish stores for canada ha ha ontario specifically so i'm going to need chat to answer that because i have no idea who would be selling fish in canada so if anybody in canada is on here and they have some ideas please let reggie know uh let's see blackfire aquatics asks what should i add to my 100 gallon tank with my akara akara sorry i can't even talk I just wrote a whole big thing about Akaras today. Hmm. Stay tuned for that. Uh, very I've, positive. I've, very positive things. I've never had them, so I... I have had them uh, before you. Uh, I had them before I had you. Oh, okay. How about that? Um, blue Akaras are every fish keeper's gift for wanting a gorgeous fish that has the color of african cichlids without the attitude but you already know that because you have them already you're looking for what fish to put with them the glorious thing about them is you can put them with almost anything they are cichlids but you know because you already have them they wouldn't hurt a soul so you know i wouldn't personally want to put them in with big bruisers like i wouldn't want to put them in this tank but i would certainly put them in this tank over here that has Congo tetras, angels, a discus, some corys, some plecos, and about 83,000 plants. I would absolutely put blue acaras in there. I would not worry about them with any community fish um, unless they're community fish that are small enough to be able to fit in the acara's mouth. Because even though they are sweet little, I don't want to say angels because they're not angel fish, but they're sweet little things it's a fish, so if it can fit in its mouth, it's gonna be dinner. And cichlids can open their mouth really, really wide. So mm -hmm. just know that going in. Uh, I probably wouldn't put things like ember tetras and mm. shrimp and you know micro fish in with them. Um, but you know, pretty much any larger uh, community fish, you're gonna be fine. Well, Daniel Spiegel said, hope everyone is having a great evening. I don't know why, but I'm gaga over guppies. I have a few in a 55-gallon tank. That's awesome, because I love guppies, too. She just alerted me to a new several dozen batch that you... Yeah, <laughs> I've got so many. I've, I've talked to John about this. I think this spring and summer, I might go ahead and just stick some guppies up on the website the ones i bred i'm not gonna bring any in i'm not trying to import guppies and sell guppies or anything like that but i have thousands of guppies and i think it would be nice to to sell them and that way other people can have some really healthy guppies that are you know homebred they're pretty they're not you know, fancy or anything, but they're they're very pretty, and they. And if you're wondering what kind of guppies they are, they're Diana Rye guppies. Just huh? look it up, Diana Rye. No, they're mine and Diana's guppies. <laughs> I got two female guppies from Diana, and they were pregnant, obviously, because they're female. Because they always are. Um, and they have produced thousands of guppies, like. Okay, so maybe hundreds they've produced, but then those hundreds have produced hundreds, and so I've got so many guppies. They're everywhere, so. We also, folks, uh, we got we got Aquashella coming up, and Lisa and I have decided 
we're setting up a booth at Aquashella. Uh, and as of now, all three Aquashellas will be doing this. And uh, I'll be doing talks at all three also, um, which is cool. I got a fun, exciting talk that I'm going to be doing. But the reason why I'm telling you about this, we're not going to set up a booth just to be there and sell shirts. Not that that's a bad thing. Uh, we're bringing a lot of stuff. Basically, the things that we always talk about, we're going to be bringing to those events. We will be bringing merch. Um, I still am campaigning. She won't let me do it. So everybody look at her and go, boo. What? I want to do an exclusive shirt for Don't Aquashella. Don't put me on the spot. It's your that. fault. I, we'd be doing it if it wasn't for you. Whether it is you the... see my eyes? You I see, see them. You see them? I see I'm them. giving you the stink eye right now. I know what you're doing. I know that look very, very well. But, you know, ask for permi- ask for forgiveness rather than permission. Isn't that how the saying goes? Um, I want to do a, a, a an exclusive shirt that you can only buy at Aquashella. But I don't know if we're going to do that. We will be bringing these shirts um, and uh, some and our old shirts and stuff like that, selling those like on clearance. We're going to be bringing a lot of Tropica plants, not tropical plants. They are tropical, but they are the Tropica brand from Tropica, uh, which is what we sell on our website. We're going to be bringing all of the most popular ones that we sell. Uh, we'll be having those there for sale. We're going to bring some titles, some sharks, all kinds of stuff. Not real sharks. <laughs> Shark, C- shark pros. CJ shark. <laughs> uh, we'll have the full line of extreme and mo- the full line of Northfin would be way too much, but uh, a lot of Northfin. So we'll have Northfin, Seachem, Extreme, Tropica, mm-hmm. and Lisa's uh, snails. guppies and, and snails. snails. So if you want to buy some of those guppies, if you live in the Dallas area, uh, or anywhere, you know, within a few hours. I'm driving there from North Carolina, so don't complain to me about being too far away. Uh, come down there, come to our booth, and you can buy some Diana Rye guppies. Diana would probably not be happy if she heard me calling them that. Uh, but you can buy some Elisa and Diana's guppies there at Aquashella. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And or shirts, the beta shirt, the Oscar shirt. Uh, the question is going to come, are we going to have the, if you don't like Oscars shirt, that's kind of what I wanted to do for this and have it be like an exclusive Aquashella 2023, but I'm going to throw this at you. She doesn't want to do it. It's her fault. All her fault. You know what? I want to show what I got yesterday. So yesterday I, I had to take two of my cats or they were actually two of my kittens that I brought in over like was it back in September October when they came along I took two of them the males to get neutered yesterday and uh when I was waiting I went to a well I guess it's a store yeah it's a store it's what else would it be it wasn't a rec center well it wasn't like shut up you're being a smarty pants tonight you're gonna get it um (laughs) it's like it's not like you know, like a shopping store like that. It's it's like a re... What, do you, what would you call it? Like a gas station. A store. Yeah. Damn. It took me long enough to figure that one out. <laughs> She's still sick. Cut her some slack. Yeah. Sorry. But it's called like the border store or whatever. So half of it is in North Carolina. The other half is in Virginia. It's really cool. And there were a lot of gift things there. And I came across this section and I couldn't leave without this. So check it out. I'll just pick the whole thing up. Can you see it? Yeah, go to your uh, left a little bit. Yep, that's good. So I saw this and I was like, I need this so that I can make like a little shrimp thing or whatever. See how the glass molds to it? So I'm going to do a little scape in it and I'm going to put some cherry shrimp in it. So anyways, I thought it was super cute. I couldn't believe it. There were other ones that and the bowls are even tinier. I was like, I'm not going to do that. But this one was adorable. So I picked it up. That is really cool. Uh, when I saw that, I, I, oh, that's perfect for uh, for shrimp. So many people on freaking TikTok would probably put a bunch of neon Tetras in that thing. <laughs> it's like a 
three cups worth of water. I just in there. thought it was so neat how like the glass was molded. It was like heated and molded to fit into this. This yeah, it can only go on wood. that piece of wood. Yeah, that's neat. So, yeah, and it's real wood. It's not like, you know. A when version she, of wood is like real when wood. she pulled it out to show me, and I didn't mean for that to sound weird. I, I was immediately like, "Why is this broad buying driftwood? We got a whole warehouse full of it out there." <laughs> what, what, but then when I saw that, oh, okay, that makes oh, total yeah, sense. It's so I like unique. It. Speaking of driftwood, Tim Russell said, uh, "If I got, if I got rock work, driftwood, and fish from Aquariums Unlimited, what stock?" Tim, don't you know I hate that question. What stocking would you recommend of Imbunas for a 55? Also, what kinds? Geez, let's not be too specific here. He thinks because he lives in the same town as us, he can just ask <laughs> all the questions that I hate. And if you if you included how many, we're skipping this one. He didn't. He just said, what kinds? Okay. I would, I would stick with your Imbunas that stay on the smaller side. I would not go for the zebras and the afras and even Kenya get pretty big. Maybe not Kenya. Kenya would probably work, but I, you know, the first one I'm going to suggest is going to be yellow labs. And even though my beautiful wife sitting across from me, who's not mad at me, uh, will not agree with this. I would, I'd give not. a few Demes and I a try. Um, mm. I understand they have a reputation, but you know what? All Imbunas have a reputation. Um, but there are certain Imbunas, Pseudotrophius, uh, Libidochromis, all of the labs, um, that are going to stay smaller. They're, they're known for staying smaller. If you see a yellow lab that's this big, it's not a yellow lab. It's something else hybridized. And it looks like a yellow lab, but it's not. Um, I saw a tank one time. It was a big tank. It was like 150 gallon that was supposedly full of yellow labs. They were not. They were something bred with a zebra because they looked nothing like yellow labs. Anyway, uh, yellow labs are going to stay relatively small. You see that tank. You see them all swarming behind Lisa's head there. They're full grown. Those oh, yeah. fish are five years old. Uh, now, there are some babies in there. They're in a 240-gallon tank, so there's nothing stopping them from getting to their full size. Those are full-size fish in there. The biggest ones that you see are full-grown. Perfectly acceptable for a 55-gallon and would look amazing in a 55-gallon. 55, 55 yeah. Um, but there's there's also several different types of libidochromis. There's I like the Snow Whites. I think the they're white ones. cute. And I like the clowns. They're super adorable. Clown not, labs? Not the clowns that go in a saltwater tank. Yeah, clown And labs. not clown loaches and not clown knives. Because uh, those get three feet long. But but clown labs, yeah, they're they're really, really cute. Um, you got plenty of options, but stay away from anything that ends in zebra. Uh, not that I don't like those. I like zebras a lot, and I'd, I'd love to have a big tank full of them, but, uh, but not for a 55. I don't like them for that. I like the ones that are going to stay smaller. Uh, Fish Hippie said, I have angels, geos, tetras with my acaras. Yeah, see, they go with anything. What you don't have to worry about with blue acaras is them bothering other fish. You have to worry about the other fish bothering the blue acaras. So keep that in mind. Uh, whoever it was that asked asked about those. And my chat just skipped, so. Oh. I heard you can keep coolie loaches with tiger barbs and red tail shark. Can anyone verify this, please? That would be a great community. Um, red tail sharks can get nasty when they get bigger. Uh, tiger barbs, I wouldn't worry about tiger barbs with coolie loaches uh i can't say his name because he's <laughs> 11 years old and named his youtube channel something an 11 year old would name because it's funny <laughs> but uh oh, <laughs> hey if this is your first time being here uh mr poop bag this is how i am <laughs> so mr poop bag uh 
I'm not picking on you. I'm just having fun with you. Hopefully you can take it. 2024, you never really know. I wouldn't worry about the Tiger Barbs with Cooley Loaches, but uh, but I, um, the Red Tail Sharks, you know what? They, they can get a little bit uh, frisky when they get a little bigger. So um, there you go. I don't know. What do you got? Oh, uh, nothing. I was nothing. answering chat. I had to buy K uh, Lisa KG Tropicals. I had to buy stuff from KG Tropicals for my new tank with my money this week. Did I say that I bought three new tanks? I have MTS now. Good grief. Well, because I asked him if he sent me a gift this week. Oh, you're trying to figure out. Oh, yeah. that wonderful so thing. I Yeah, John loves it too. Somebody sent me a um, what do you, an oil diffuser. Uh, which is super cool because it has a little plug anyway whatever um with some oils and they're for like relaxing comfort uh stress or something but oh my gosh it's been amazing we've used them a, i've used it a couple nights in a row now and it's just been oh, i love it it's like i'm looking forward to using it again a night but anyways, John keeps saying how he's had a really good night's sleep, too, when I've used him. So I'm just trying to figure out who sent it so I could say thank you. But I do also want to say thank you to um, Jerry and Ann. They sent some uh, cat food uh, for the cats, and I really appreciate that. And also, um, Curtis Crump sent a really cool toy for the kitties, and I just wanted to say thank you. You remember how you were like shooting it? Yes. <laughs> I think that was more for me than it was you. It, because uh, there's a whole bunch of them too. And it's like all these little balls, that colorful balls. You stick it in a gun, like this little toy gun, and you go pow and they go across the room and the cats chase it. Yeah. Regina Phalanges is being a rascal. She said, all the yellow labs I know are about 75 pounds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those funny. kind can get rather large and quite feisty, quite feisty. But, uh, but, but yeah, that's not the yellow labs I was talking about. And mm -hmm. those are definitely not yellow libidochromis that you're talking yeah. about. Uh, Von uh, Lurker said, Salusai, that's how I say it. You might say it different. It's okay. Uh, is a good option. Absolutely. 100%. A good option um, mm -hmm. and will mix well with yellow labs so that is not a problem at all lemon lizard said really love the tank talk podcast your fish recommendation video inspired me to get some rummies and platinum angels oh yeah only had them for about a week and they're already so amazing thanks so much yeah that's a really cool tank i'm pretty sure both of those were my suggestion in that podcast so well done i'm glad you uh Mentioned that in our chat and not Jason's, but, but no, thank you for, uh, for checking out the podcast. This episode coming up on Monday, it's a big one. It's a big one because there's been a lot of controversy over the last couple of years or so, maybe just a year. I don't know about water changes in aquariums. That's what this episode is about. But listen, you're thinking, well, we're in the... KG Tropicals live stream right now. We've heard John's views on water changes a thousand times. Well, guess what? I say very little in this podcast. This one is driven by Jason and uh, he's the professor. So when he says something, it's very mm. different than when I say it. So uh, you're going to want to tune in for that mm. one. If you haven't checked out the podcast yet, there's two different ways you can do it on YouTube. If you want the video version of it, uh, it's not a edited, like visual podcast. It's just me and Jason talking. It looks exactly like me and Lisa here talking, except it's not Lisa. It's Jason. Yeah. Uh, he's not here. He's in his house. I'm in mine. Where's you know what I'm saying? Um, so there's nothing really to see. It's not like we're putting B roll of fish over us and stuff like that. Um, or you can listen to it in audio form on all the podcast platforms apple uh, i think it's on amazon spotify all of them i so, really enjoy listening to them i know i say that every week but i really do because mondays are such a busy day so it's like it it's what gets me started and 
you know, I can listen to that while I'm working. And it's, and it's true. She really does do that. I'll, I'll walk in on her sometimes and she's got me and Jason on in the background and I'm like, oh, because you guys so do so well together. <laughs> and I just like listening. And I do like I lurk in a lot of streams, too. Like during the day, I can't say hi all the time but i'll have it on just to support people and it's so funny i was joking around a couple days ago and i was lurking in i think it was rico's stream uh and i saw that whip whips world and kevin ellery were in it so i messaged them because we have like a group chat from when they came to get the cats and i messaged them and i said I see you guys in there. <laughs> and, I w and I was like, I'm just lurking right now or whatever. So Whip called me out in the stream. He goes, Lisa's here lurking. <laughs> That's funny. So I had to say hi. It was so funny. Allison um, Dalton said with a $30 super chat, good grief, Allison. You are feeling very, uh, very generous today. Thank you so much for that. Uh, thanks to you and Jake Adams, I am in the process of setting up my new innovative marine 50-gallon reef tank. So excited and very nervous to get it filled slash cycled and add my first fish. We'll name my clownfish Jake and John. Oh, Aww, that's so sweet. Isn't that something? Uh, that, that, Allison, you have no idea how much that means to me and how much it would mean to Jake that that's a really really big mm -hmm. deal that is exactly what our motivation was behind uh, what Jake and I were working on uh, if you all are new here and and not familiar with the saltwater side at all uh, unfortunately this was a, a, a cause that Jake and I started we were working on for about a year which was bridging the gap between saltwater and freshwater exposing freshwater people to saltwater and then doing the the other in reverse and unfortunately about a year into it we lost jake uh jake passed away out of nowhere and uh so i've i've tried a little bit to continue on i, I did my part set up a tank uh which i'm looking at right now and i absolutely love it is so much fun i i need to get more fish in it though um just because it's fun to buy new fish i want to get a school of something but um, but the whole purpose of Jake and I doing that was for stuff like this, for somebody to say, I wasn't interested in saltwater before, but <clears throat> I saw this and now I'm doing it. So Allison, that means a lot. Thank you very, very much. Um, so uh, somebody, <laughs> I don't want to say the name. Is it poop bag? No. Um, they said, I have my first tank in 25 years scaped with soil capped with small gravel and planted. How long before I can add fish? Well, I would wait. Just let your plants grow in and do their thing and become like a beautiful, you know, planted aquarium. Don't rush it. Just let it do its thing for a while. I mean maybe add a snail in there in a few weeks see how it does let it poop and stuff in there and then you can add fish after a few weeks or you could test the water and find out but um i like to just let my planet aquariums just grow for a while before i even add fish and usually to be a hundred percent honest i do that for so long that i don't even test the water and stuff but i'm more experienced so i kind of know what to look for and that's why uh but i would recommend you probably test the water before you do that uh but let it grow wait just let it grow and do its thing it's fun to watch plants grow i had to search for that and i see it and i don't think that is an inappropriate name it, it's dick signs but i don't think it's what you think i i don't think it's that uh, i think it's but maybe okay. I'm stupid. I don't know. But I don't think that's an inappropriate thing. Uh, but but yeah, I liked your answer, so I don't really need to. Uh, I don't need to comment on that. Our, okay. our aquatic universe with Mike B. Hey, are you talking about Border Station on the State Line on Highway 168? Yes. Great store. Did y'all get some crazy rain today? Oh boy, did we! Heck yeah! Let did me tell you, you something. Skip, did you skip some? 
I, well, I did because it just happens to be where I was at. Um, uh, yeah. I know. Uh, I Don't worry. I got it under control, lady. Okay. I'm, I'm a professional here. Okay. I'm just making sure you were trusting me today. Let me tell you something <laughs> about today's rain. It was annoying. It was, it was horrible. It was all day. It was crazy. Um, but it did something that I was so like, what? Like amazed by, you may not be aware of this. Uh, all of you watching 42,000 people watching right now. Um, I got a pond this year, last year, and I love it. It's my favorite thing in the world. And uh, the pond always stays nice and clear. I, I, when, when we first put it in, you know, it was cloudy for a few days because that's what happens. Uh, but once all the dirt from the rocks and all that settled, after just a few days, it was as clear as could be and has been that way ever since. Uh, there's been a couple of times where I've messed with the filter or something like that. And it's gotten a little bit cloudy for like 10 minutes and then it goes away. And I've also noticed a couple of times where we've had these torrential rains and I go out there and I'm like, daggone it, it's all musty and you just see this stuff floating around. I went out there today after the rain and I've never seen the pond so clear. It was bizarre. Like, I, obviously it got a ridiculous amount of rain. It was as full as it can be. Like the fish could just scoot themselves right up out of it if they wanted to. I mean, it was, it can't, it can't fill up any more than it was. Uh, so it got a nice big free uh, supply of water today. I love free water. But it was so clear. I was yeah. like, whoa. I mean, maybe this pond hasn't been as clear as I thought because Maybe it was the lighting. Maybe it was golden hour and the, just the way things were working. I don't know. But I've never seen it look so good. So I was uh, upset. I was upset about the rain because, you know, who likes for it to be raining? Um, but I was happy for that reason. And also because I just put fertilizer down on uh, a small part of my grass over the weekend and so the rain's gonna help that too so very helpful help very happy about that but yeah we got a ton it was crazy yeah it was nice melissa 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 jeswald said <laughs> lisa thank you for all you do for cats Aww, i thanks. wish there was more people in the world like you okay john's cool too <laughs> i mean i'm cool because i let her do it right sure as if i could stop her but uh but no, you're you're absolutely right, Melissa. It's amazing what she does. And uh, there's another cat that's been infiltrating our property recently. There's been that, a lot uh, of them, like four or five more new ones. One of which she believes possibly could be carrying. Yes, that's Leo. Leo was on the porch tonight when I went to come out. And it's so adorable because he, she uh, isn't running away from me when I'm, when like I go up to the window now, like at first the, I don't know if it's a he or a she, I think it's a girl though, but I've already named him or her Leo. So it's Leo. Um, turns out to be packing like you think, then it needs to be Leah. <laughs> Leah. Go ahead. Yeah. But yeah. Sorry to interrupt you. She's not running away now. And what I have found is when cats are not, as scared anymore and they're coming up at different times they're super duper duper hungry because they're feeding more than one so we saw that cat last night and it had a rather significant bulge and i don't mean that kind of bulge i mean a baby bulge uh so we'll see what happens there I'm gonna i think i have that, to catch her i think that cat's name is leah uh, you might not have to catch her if she does what the other cats have done. One of the cutest <laughs> videos I've ever seen in my life. I sent it to you. There's an orange cat that walks up to its owner and like bites its hand and pulls him, uh. pulls the owner away, him, her, I don't know, and pulls her over to like a laundry basket and then jumps up in the laundry basket. And they don't show this actually happening, but just dropped a, a, a litter of kittens right there in the laundry basket. Like... The cat was pulling the person over there to say, hey, listen, I'm getting ready to do this. And you need to be aware. It was just fascinating yeah, to see Yeah, guess that. who sends me cat videos? Don't tell 
anybody. I told you not to tell anybody. <laughs> You're always sending me cat videos now. It's so funny. Luke, Co Luke Cochran, or who I prefer to call Luke Combs, gifted a membership. Thank you so much for that, Luke. I appreciate that. And again, loved your performance with Tracy Chapman at the uh, whatever award show that was. Sean, not going to try it. Sean, am I the only one who feels guilty for eating in a seafood restaurant oh. with fish tanks in it? I feel like they're looking at me and judging me. Um, well... I don't think you're the only one, but I definitely cannot join you in that because I don't eat seafood because I think it tastes gross. Uh, but I got to admit, that would be weird. I mean, if you're sitting at a steakhouse and there's like a bunch of cows looking in the window, that would look weird. That would feel, I would feel <laughs> weird about that. Oh my that. gosh, yeah. So I get it. Um, if you're watching or it, no. It's not the current season. If you saw the season 10 of Curb Your Enthusiasm, there's a fish tank episode, which not the whole episode is about it. But um, I think it is, uh, what's his name? Richard Lewis, who just passed away, which is sad. Uh, and Larry and Vince Vaughn. Vince Vaughn is in Curb Your Enthusiasm. How perfect is that? Uh, they're at a Chinese restaurant and there's a goldfish stuck to the filter and there's this big controversy over it. It's hilarious. Uh, love that show so much. And then later on, the, the guy is just like, yeah, fish, fish sick. We sent it away and they don't really ever go anywhere with the story. I was upset yeah. about that, but uh, it was it was cool to see fish in a in a big show like that. So and I love that show so much. Uh Gerard Washak said, I got my plant today. It was the most healthy looking plant that I ever bought. That's awesome. What kind of plant was it? I, I mean, they're all that way, but. Uh. Oh. <laughs> and then Tim Russell said, stray cats must be a Chawan thing. They come and go from my house all the time. <gasps> Ooh, I'm going to have to go to Tim's house. No, you will do no such thing because we get enough here as it is. And we live in the middle of nowhere. I don't know how these cats find us. They just do. They got across so much farmland to get to us. Mm -hmm. uh, they all talk to each other and they're like, that brought over there feeds us wet food. And there's like a lot of different faces. It's like there's so many new ones. I think some are actually living under the barn now. Mm. I know for a fact they are because I see them go under there. Justin Neely. Oh, I have to. No, I have to tell you a funny story. So sorry, Justin. She, um, you know. So yesterday when I was taking the cats to get neutered, there was this guy there and he had two cats and he was talking about how he found those two cats because they were kittens when he found them. He had gone out to his chicken coop to check for eggs and there was a cat in there with her kittens. She had gone in the chicken coop and had her kittens. So that's how he got two of them because then she ended up, I guess, uh, like a few days later, freaking out about it and she took her kittens away but she dropped a couple along the way and that's when he got the two and kept them so yeah which is a good story because so many times you hear about cats doing the opposite i'm gonna to start chickens. checking chicken coops uh justin neely ordered from us last week and said thanks for the awesome order or this week or over the weekend or whenever it was uh my shirt is amazing and the snails are going to work Oh, yay. Um, yeah, he's awesome. the one that you sent the wrong shirt to. I did. I sent the wrong shirt. Oopsie. <laughs> he ordered the old beta shirt. Uh, Lisa sent him this one because, you know, she was in a good mood that day. Not <laughs> this one, but this style. Um, and uh, he wanted to send it back. And I was like, no, don't do that. That's, you know, Lisa's getting written up. I did. She, there will be discipline. And... Uh, but no, I mean, I wish I got fired. There's an easy, that's an easy mistake to make. I, I was hoping you were going to fire me, but <laughs> here I am back to work again. If I fired you, I'd have to do all the work myself. I and know. plus I can't fire you. So I don't. Speaking of shirts, I got my shirt today. It's my Marital shirt. So. Yep. You you left you tasked me with talking about that last week and uh, yeah that was not easy for me. I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, that that's a cute shirt. You just got that today. I did. Put it on. 
for the stream. Yes, I did. And I told Zen, Zen said she got hers today too, and she was going to wash it. And I was like, oh, I don't have time to wash it. And I was like, I'm just going to throw it on. You know, I'll take a shower afterwards. I, I told her, I said, it's not like I'm going to be licking it or anything. So she's supposed to be imagine, imagining me on the stream licking, licking the shirt. <laughs> and that's not weird at all. No. Um, oh, shoot. What was I going to say? I was going to say something and it totally left my brain. That's not unusual. Uh, Bloodscreen gifted one KG Tropicals membership. Thank you so much for that. So many people. This has become a regular thing, and it's wild. I, I appreciate it so much. It's so very cool. Um, you know, hopefully they stick around. That would be a really cool thing, too. Uh, High Performance Trucking said, I'm with you. I do not eat no seafood. I grew up in what's called the Northern Neck of Virginia. Um, which is a, a very much seafood area. It's, it's on the Potomac River, salt water, like everybody out there, crabs and fishes, and that's what they do. I enjoy fishing, kind of, but uh, I really enjoyed it when I was a kid, but I had no interest in eating fish. My whole family, I'd be that kid that's like, can I get chicken tenders? Because... <laughs> There wasn't, I don't think chicken tenders even existed back then, but I would go to, sure they did. we would go to Chesapeake Bay Seafood House. I would eat frog legs. I know now that I think about it, it really bothers me. I wouldn't have married you if I knew that. <laughs> I would go there and I would eat hush puppies and chicken legs because I had no interest in eating all the nasty Seafood. It's just, I've never liked the taste. I like the Alaskan seafood. crab legs and the shrimp, but I can't eat fish. I just can't eat fish. My so. uncle, uh, rest his soul, passed away before I even met you. Uh, one of my favorite people on earth. Um, we would go to his house and he lived on the water. He would catch crabs. He put crab pots out and I would go out with him and we'd pick up the pots and we'd get all the crabs and then he'd bring them in and cook them. And I would hate to hear them scream. And it would be this whole Aww. thing. But he would sit there. That's mean. And, well, but that's what they do. They're not really screaming. It's just. Yeah. Well, when I was a kid and I lived at Colonial Beach, I used to catch the crabs on the pier. I would take my fishing hook and I would stick it down and let it hook on it like I'd put something on it and they would grab it and I'd bring it up and I would take them home and I would let them walk around in my living room until my mom would get mad at me and tell me to go throw them back in the water but <laughs> I remember going to coming down here we went to Nags Head and uh, we went fishing my brother caught a huge marlin who which, which he still has mounted I don't think he has it up on his wall but um, we went fishing and I caught a bunch of flounder and I would catch the flounder and I would look and my parents wouldn't be looking and I'd throw them back in the water <laughs> because if I caught them, they would make me eat them. But no interest in that. But my uncle would sit there and they would, you know, he would do the whole thing with roll out the brown paper and just dump a whole bushel of crabs and the whole family would go nuts. And I'd be like, Ugh. Oh, yeah. but that Those man, kind of crabs were gross because it looked like they had mustard in it, but it was really poop. Yeah. Ugh. But see, my, my uncle was a master at picking through those crab and actually getting like a lot of meat out of it. But everybody else I would watch and they'd be eating crabs and they'd have like, they'd sit there and work on the stupid thing for 10 minutes and then they'd have this little piece of, mm, little piece of meat. It's like, come on, get a steak, get a, uh, what are you wasting all your time on that for? Plus yeah. it tastes gross. Yeah. And it burns your fingers, too. Like, if you bit your fingernails and stuff, then it would burn them. I guess that's a good reason to not bite your nails, then. Yeah, I'm not I'm not interested in it. Uh, it it's gross. I am a... Uh, I'm just a... I'm boring. I mean, chicken, pigs, cows. Yeah. And even that's hard sometimes. I, I am that kind of delicate person sometimes, and I feel bad oh. about it. But, hey... I mean, it is what it is. Uh, congrats on 501 subs. Hey, listen, I meant to talk about that uh, at the beginning of the stream. Last week was a stupid thing, thinking we were possibly going to get 
250 subscribers during the live stream, uh, but we did hit it the next day on Friday, and that was very exciting. I was walking through Food Lion, or was it Walmart? I think it might have been Walmart, and you texted me really? that we, we passed... Or maybe I was, was in Tractor Friday? Supply. I don't know where I was. Oh, Friday. I was in bed all day. I was at Lowe's. Yeah, you were in bed sick. But uh, but yeah, that was so exciting. Big deal for us. Uh, 500,000 and it's at 501 now. Uh, thank you to all 501,000 of you. Uh, if I could thank you all individually, I would. But that would take a while. And my name is not Mr. Beast. So oh. he did that. Like he said... Was it Logan Paul? He said a hundred thousand times or something like that. It was oh, something wow. really stupid. But Mr. Beast lives by us. Yes, he does. He's our neighbor. Yeah, I haven't talked to Jimmy in a while. I wonder how he's doing. I'll walk over there tomorrow and see how uh, see how he's doing. I'm joking. I've never met the guy, and yeah. uh, I, I'm sure I, I never really, will. I think I saw him at LabCorp that time when I was getting blood work. I think he was in front of me, and he was gonna like he's signing up to get blood work. I'm pretty sure that was him. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it was. Uh, furlough is here. I saw that. He said, long time no see. Miss you guys. Eric, you might see your guy. Uh, his name's Draco. Yeah, there he's he right is. There. there he is. Look how big that effer is. You you gave me a monster. Look at him. He's the biggest one in there now. He Wait. is so much bigger than the other two. It's not yeah. even funny. You and Dory need to come visit and you can come see him. You can't take him back, though. No, you can't take him back. He's mine now. He won't fit in your bucket. Or was or was it a cooler? Did I think he it was a cooler. A, yeah, he won't fit. I, I absolutely adore that fish. And he is, without a doubt, and I, and this is a normal thing for ornates, uh, he is a lot more active than uh, Crab and Goyle, but I love that about him. It, it, he makes a huge mess. Crab and Goyle, which are my Lepredi and, and Lacari, which are the other two. I don't know where they're at. I can't see them behind me. Um, they, they're not all that active, which is fine, but when they do decide to be active, like the tank just gets like a snowstorm. It's terrible. Um, but Draco, who is the ornate is all over the place all the time and it's hilarious. And, uh, so cannot thank you enough for, I think it's funny because the Plyco will lay with them too. Like he thinks he's a biker. He wants to be. So. It is funny. I had a question about the Tank Talk episode Monday, and I forgot what it was. Congrats on 500K. Thank you, Joe. Uh, what was the episode on? It was Buying Fish. That's right. Huh. Uh, that was a fun episode. That was a, a me episode. Let me explain what that means. Uh, <laughs> when Jason and I record the tank talk podcast we like to do because we live halfway across the country from each other we record four episodes at a time uh it makes for a long day but we record them all in one day uh jason will like run and change his shirt between them and i'm always either wearing this or the oscar shirt but uh we we want to go into them with a little bit of a plan not a script not but it's kind of like a loose outline so what we do is we'll have four episodes and uh we'll do what's called taking the lead that's what we call them i don't know if that's the right thing to call it but where i'll take the lead on two and he'll take the lead on two which basically is like if if jason's taking the lead it's going to be his stream or not his stream his podcast and uh, and i'll chime in whenever i feel it's appropriate or whenever he thinks it's appropriate um and, and that's how we do it. Uh, this week's is water changes coming up uh, on Monday. And that is a Jason episode. Mm. I talk quite a bit in it, but it is mostly Jason. So for everybody, you should all be ashamed of yourselves that comment. They only do it on my episodes. Oh, they'll yeah. comment that I talk too much. But when Jason has an episode, they never say he talks too much something people have against me but anyway uh monday's episode is is jason and it's gonna be a lot of fun i've been campaigning with him don't worry i will comment on that one and i will say wow john didn't talk enough <laughs> wow jason you sure did talk a lot you should have let john talk i want to make sure i comment that he'll get a kick out of that because he knows it hurts my feelings <laughs> when people say the otherwise but because i'm i'm certainly i don't want to 
steal the show. I mean, that's not how it's done. But if we don't go into them that way, then it's just kind of a wild, wild west. And we like there to be a little bit of a structure to it. So um, we're, we've got four more episodes planned. I am trying so desperately to get him to set aside a weekend, which is not easy for that guy to do, and uh, meet me in Knoxville, Tennessee, which would be halfway between me and him. We'll get an Airbnb and we'll just record podcast episodes all weekend. Um, the main reason why is because the same issues that we have on this live stream, uh, the, the internet signal is just not the best. And so when him and I are connected remotely, it sometimes it, it acts up. And it's, it only affects Jason, which really makes me mad. Huh. Uh, it doesn't bother him because he's like, hey, listen, almost everybody is listening to this they're not watching it so it shouldn't matter it doesn't affect audio at all it's only video like he'll be talking and he'll be paused like this and he's not moving but he's talking and it's hilarious <laughs> but uh if we were able to meet up in knoxville and uh be face to face not only would it be more of a natural conversation but it would look better too so yeah um but it's easy for me to do that but it's not as easy for him to do it. So uh, we'll see. But you, you look Whips, anxious. Whips World has a question for you. Okay. Okay. At KG Tropicals, I have a question. That would be you, not me. Um, I got from last Monday's Tank Talk too. Did I hear you correctly in that you are out of the beta business? If so, what are you doing with the best beta system on YouTube? I mean, didn't we have this conversation like four months ago? Jeez. Oh, he was asking what you're going to do. It's system. not my beta system. It's, it's my beta yours. System. So you answer that question, not me. I don't know. You, somebody want to buy it? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Actually, I we've talked about it, like maybe taking half of it down and only keeping half of it because I've thought about like breeding betas or something and then like only selling the ones that I breed, so possibly doing that. I don't know. I don't want to get rid of it yet because I don't, I don't, it's like I, I feel like if we took it down and we put it away. That's too final. It, it would be final, and I don't want to do that because it's not exactly final. It was Even just. Even though it was her decision to stop selling betas. But anyway, go ahead. What, what were you saying? It's just a lot of work for just me. And I have found that I've gotten so many other things done and I've been able to take over things and the things that I have taken over has improved it, greatly, improved our business so much in a really good way that it's like if we were to <clears throat> keep it up and sell betas then i would want an employee to come in and take care of the betas with all the water changes and and the upkeep because that's a full-time job and actually more so that's probably what we would end up doing if we did it's not only that though you were working full-time hours more than full-time hours maintaining that system putting the fish up on the website which is a lot of work to take and all the photographs and sell. edit them. And Not that it's a problem, but they would sell out just as soon as I put them up, they were gone. And it's like, we you would can never get ahead. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, I, I would need an employee to help me with that, to be able to continue doing it. But that's even more the reason why we, we are not selling them anymore. And that's not what his question was, but um, to make it worthy of the amount of time that's spent on them, we would have to to charge so much money for those fish. And we are not, and I repeat, not the kind of people that are going to raise prices on something simply because we have a name on YouTube and we can make more money that way. We can dupe people out of 20 extra dollars because they can say they bought the fish from us. Is it true that people would do that? Probably, but we wouldn't sleep well at night doing that. So we have to sell them at a reasonable price. And when you're when you consider how much one person was able to do, 
and you add it all up at the end of the day, we were basically paying people to to buy betas from us. And it just, it didn't work out. She is 100% right. The business has dramatically improved since she stopped, since we stopped with the betas. I don't want to keep putting it all on her. I mean, I was just as much involved in the decision as she was. Our business is so much better now without having those. And so it was the right decision to make, 100%. And that system is just sitting there and it's not really doing anything. It is sad. I put a lot of work into it. I'm very proud of it. But at the same time, it ain't doing us any good sitting up there on the wall like that. Uh, my suggestion, it, suggestion was we have an attic in this building. Box them all up. Put them up there. Don't sell them. Don't give them away. Don't do anything like that. Just put them all up there because you never know. They're already paid for. We made our money back on buying all of the stuff to put that system up. Uh, long run, we ended up losing money, but it doesn't matter. No. I, wouldn't say we uh, I mean, if you money. really nitpick the numbers, we, we lost money on betas, but it's fine. You just never know what tomorrow holds. We didn't know three years ago we were going to be selling betas. And you came up with the idea, let's sell betas. Okay, well, here we go. So... Mm. You never know what's going to happen tomorrow. Uh, it would really, really suck to give those away or sell them. And then six months later, be like, you know, <laughs> that would suck so bad. Yeah. So, uh, but we can absolutely make better use of that space. Um, we sell more snails than you could ever imagine. Yeah, I love doing that. I mean, I, oh my gosh, the amount of mystery snail clutches I have right now is insane and it's like I've got so oh my gosh breeding snails is easy oh my gosh that's easy <laughs> and I don't have to take a picture of each individual snail and put it up on the oh, website it's can you imagine? awesome I mean there are some snails that I do bring in too but um a lot of them I breed myself because it's just so easy and I've got all the space in the world to put them so and the cool thing is just so people know the snails and the fish are in one building the plants are in another building so <laughs> we don't keep them together yeah so you're yeah, i mean i cannot guarantee that you will never get a stray bladder snail or something like that in a plant that didn't come from us that came straight from tropica uh it's and, rare but it does happen but they're not from us. Uh, you know, they came to us that way. But it, it would be nice to set you up a system that's a little bit more efficient with the snails. Uh, and I'm not kidding y'all when I tell you on Monday, because we she packs so many snails on Monday, it's absolutely out of control every Monday because we're basically shipping snails every order that comes in from Wednesday at 2 o'clock and some of them Tuesday because... You know, we can't ship them all on Wednesdays because some of them are three-day shipments, blah, blah, blah. Basically, from Wednesday to 2 o'clock all the way through Monday at 2 o'clock, she's packing all of those snails. And, of course, the bulk of the snail orders come in over the weekend. I bet you packed 350 snails on Monday. This past Monday? I think it was more than that. This past Monday, it was more. That, that's one person. Doing that now, they're not all in individual bags. If somebody orders a 12 pack of ram's horns, all 12 of those are in one bag, but that's still so many bags. <laughs> you had to use a wagon to bring them all over to the barn to pack them up, it, it was insane. Um, and so yeah, it would make more sense to have tanks in there that are where the beta system is now to house snails because y'all love snails and they're. I've gotten like so many different kinds now. I've been testing out some snails just to see. Some of them aren't even on the site yet. Yeah, because I've, I've been trying some of them out just to see how I do with them and everything. And they've been doing really good. So I think the next ones coming are going to be the rabbit snails and the trapdoor snails. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited because I love the rabbit snails. They've got so much personality. Yeah, so anyway. Uh, and Kaylin Shepard said, sell shrimp. <laughs> I should sell my cherry shrimp. I've got so many cherry shrimp. 
I started off with like what ten, and I've got hundreds, almost probably a thousand cherry yeah, it's shrimp. It's insanity. I don't even want to talk about snails. We've got so many. My, of them. it's like I have this mixture of what I do. I have all these tanks everywhere, and it's guppies, shrimp, snails, guppies, shrimp, snails, and they all just multiply and multiply and multiply <laughs> and they all do so good together and it's like the best trio is that the it's like the best yes yeah. snail cherry shrimp cups. allison dalton has said something in our chat that is so disturbing and she's going to make me a oh. vegetarian again she said my aunt and uncle raise beef cattle the packages in the meat the packages of meat in the freezer had the cow's name on it gave me the creeps allison i couldn't do that okay. and th listen i got all the respect in the world for f for farmers we are surrounded by farmers they're not livestock farmers these are all crop farms out here um but you know beef farmers and, and all of these people i got a lot of respect for them i could not do what they do and i certainly could not eat meat from a cow that I've raised from a calf. I couldn't do it. Uh, one of my good friends growing up, he passed away, unfortunately, but um, he had a farm. He had 60 acres in Orange County, Virginia, and uh, they had cattle. He had 60 cattle because of tax reasons. And his 10-year-old son was one of those people. And, and if I'm being honest with you, I wish I was one of these people that... He could go out in the backyard, 10 years old, and I don't know what you call it. What? It, it, it put down the cow? <gasps> no. With shotgun or whatever oh. the gun is that they use, the I bolt gun or whatever it is, and then do the slaughter. Like, the 10-year-old was involved in all the process, and it did not bother him at all. And they would take that meat, and they would put it in the, in the freezer, and they would have beef forever. And I'm just like, I... I couldn't do that. I, I mean, understand why people there's nothing do it. wrong with it, but I couldn't no, do it. Yeah, I yeah, me either. Because anything that I kept on my land and I had to go feed, it's a pet, and it's family now. Yeah, and I can't eat it. Even I, I would be the worst. Oh, I couldn't have. Yeah, I'd have got kicked out of my family if I lived <laughs> back in in the old days where you had to do all that they'd kick me out they'd say you know what you are useless to our family you need to <laughs> leave <laughs> i the names my dad would have called me are inappropriate to say in 2024 if that if i was in that situation i mean he would say things to me like well why don't you just go play with your dolls then i mean that was the kind of stuff that we said to each other back in those days you're not allowed to do that anymore that would be considered child abuse but oh. uh they're the same thing with chickens. Like we still want to get chickens and it's, it's perfect time of year to do that. I could not even chickens. I eat chickens all the time, every day, practically. I mean, yeah, well, I they, eggs come, every day. they come from food lion. They come from the grocery That's store. That's what I'm saying that I can do. Yeah. And eggs I could do. Yeah. If we, that's one of the reasons why we want to get, them. I eat five eggs a day. I mean, it, it's every morning. That's my ritual. I, that I wouldn't have a problem with because a chicken didn't have to die for that. But to go out there, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to go kill uh, old Nancy out there and uh, we'll have her for dinner tonight. No, I couldn't do that. I know a lot of people can and that's fine. Ain't nothing wrong with it, but I couldn't do it because I'd be wanting to hold little Nancy and be like, you're so cute, little Nancy. <laughs> I don't know why I just named the chicken after my mother, but it, it's, <laughs> that's what happened. That's right hilarious. There. I'm going to tell her that. Ornate bikers, can't they grow to 30 inches? Yes, they can. And uh, Draco's on his way. <laughs> He's, shoot, how big is that fish right now? Oh, they knocked off my thing again. Those jerks. Aw, maybe they want you to do a water change. You know what, let me see. Uh, they're due for a water change, but hmm. he is, I'm going to say, Oh, shoot. That tank is 36 inches deep. He's two feet right now. Yeah. My other two are probably 18. Mm. That's what you did, Furlough. You gave us a, a fish 
that was half the size of the other two bikers in there. Yeah. And he's now six inches larger than them. I'm looking at Draco now and he's actually laying. I don't know if you can see him because I can't see myself on screen right now. Uh, no, you can't see him. But he's right here. And he's, he's looking laying, at the back. Yeah, he's look. he's got his face towards the back of the tank, but he's sprawled out perfectly. Is it perpendicular? Is that how you say it? To the tank. Yeah. And uh, the tank's 36 inches deep, and he's only got about six inches between the front and the back. So, yeah, he's a two-footer. Mm. Uh, he's a monster, and uh, he's not done growing yet. So, but this is a th an eight-foot-long tank by three by three. So he can get to 30 inches in there and still have all the room to explore. And he will, too. Trust me. Uh, and here's my... Enley there and the Pleco here. And they're just staring at you, wanting to know how y'all are doing, is what they're doing over there. Uh, I think I need to get a couple more of these because we're, we're cutting it close on time. I don't know if Ed's streaming tonight. Uh, he... I saw him in here a little bit ago. Oh, did he? Did you? But I don't know if he's streaming. I wonder if anyone knows. He, he uh, texted me last week. He was not feeling well last week and mm. uh, he wasn't going to be streaming, but I didn't get any messages from like from him like that this week. So... Uh, high performance trucking, kind of the same story every Friday. Family would go out for fish. My dad said, you must chew the fish good because it can choke you. So I was always scared to eat fish and never liked the taste. Yeah, I mean, when you're when you're going to debone your own fish, some of those little, little yeah. bones will stay in there and you got to chew them up real good. Um, yeah, it's... It's just never been my thing. Even even with fish, like I said, I would throw the flounders back when we caught them in Nags Head. Um, I, it's just, I don't know. I'm soft like that. Somebody else took care of it and prepped it, and then I buy it in a, in a cellophane package from the store. I don't have a problem with that. But if I've seen it and I've heard it and I've interacted with it, it's, it's no longer something that can be food for me. And I wish I wasn't that way. I wish I was one of those people that could, oh, yeah, let me go out there and get Nancy. <laughs> I wish I could be that way. Uh, Petro said, us, us crop farmers see more death than cattle farmers. It's very sad to see how cruel agriculture really is. There's a lot of animals that run around those, those fields. I get it. Uh, and, uh, and, yeah, yeah. there's probably animals that uh that you don't mean to scoop up in your equipment and stuff like that but it, there's no way around it rabbits groundhogs Aww, rabbits. squirrels cats i mean things no, like that can help i didn't say that forget that i said that part that part no that's not a real thing that doesn't happen i saw something last week i'm gonna lighten the mood here i had something happen to me what are you doing I had something happen to me last week that was almost so traumatizing. Lisa was talking about Leo the cat. Yeah. I was sitting in my office and I can see half of my property from my office. Mm -hmm. uh, my office faces the barn. And if I look out my front windows, I can see this building. And if I look out to the right, I can see the barn and I can see everything in between. It's a beautiful thing to be able to, to look out and see all of that. Mm -hmm. I saw our barn cats arguing with another cat. Oh, they were having a no, fight. I, they, no, no, I just told you wrong. I thought they were arguing with each other. Gerald and Jasper, I thought they were arguing with each other because I heard them rawr, 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 doing all that stuff way out by a pine tree outside of my office. So I'm like, oh, well, I can't tolerate that. So I go outside and I see very quickly that it's not Gerald, it's Leo. But from a distance, from 100 yards away, it looked like Gerald. So I'm like, okay, now I know why they're bickering at each other. So Leo, as soon as Leo sees me or Leah, takes off running out to the field. I'm watching this cat run away and Jasper starts coming towards me and then I see it. I see a truck 
I heard that truck. Way <laughs> down the road. And if you're the person that lives on our road that has that loud exhaust, nobody is impressed by your exhaust. I'm just telling yeah, you. And I don't Especially like you, Especially at 1130 way. at night. Yeah, I can't stand you, by the way. <laughs> I just so, hope you are watching this. This jerk. guy did nothing wrong. We're just having fun breaking balls right now. But this guy is in his truck oh. and he's way down at the end I of my street. I don't like him. And he's coming down my road. And I see the cat running. And I see the truck coming. And I'm just like this. I'm going. I'm looking at the two. And it's happening in slow motion. And they're, they are going to intersect each other. I, I, knew, I knew it. I just knew it was going to happen. And you didn't run towards it? What was I going to do? Come on. Give me you a You should have been like, stop. No. Stop. I was way too far away from the road. I would have done it. I was not going to make myself look oh, like an I, idiot. I would have made myself look like an idiot. He would have driven Easily. by and been like which you can't see what I'm doing, but he would have been sticking out that old oh, number one finger at me. I'd have been me. doing it right back. <laughs> uh, they, I mean, they were coming like this. The cat's running across the field. The, the fields are all empty right now. So I can see him running and I can see the truck coming. And I was expecting when the truck passed, I was expecting to hear, broom, broom. Oh, why you gotta because make that it was so, but there wasn't. And the guy didn't even slow down or anything like what that. What a jerk. And didn't even slow down just to be he, like, I'm sorry I scared you, cat. He didn't even see the cat. He didn't see it. He didn't know that it was happening. He wasn't paying attention. <laughs> he didn't drive in front of the truck. I was standing there hopeless, and I'm just looking back and forth. There's the cat. There's the truck. There's the cat. There's the truck. I can't and they're believe getting you were closer just closer. standing there watching. Stop it, lady. There's nothing I could have done. But it... He came back the next night, so it's not, uh, Yeah. It, it, you know, it doesn't have a, ha a sad ending at all. The, the cat's fine. I don't know if the cat stopped or if it just got across fast enough mm. to not get hit by the truck. I don't know. But, I uh, really hate that driver. But <laughs> he didn't get hit. That might be Tim Russell for all you know. No, that's if not it is, Tim, Tim we could never be friends because your truck is too that loud. That is not Tim Russell. That's a jerk that lives over there. <laughs> it's his truck is way too loud and it's really stupid. It just, you know, I, I love a nice exhaust on like a Mustang or a Camaro or something, but you don't need to be having an exhaust like that on your 72 freaking Silverado or 86 Silverado, whatever. It, it's probably only a two wheel drive. <laughs> You're funny compensation. <laughs> anyway. All right. All right, so, we got to go. Yeah, we did hear that uh, that Ed is streaming. Let me make yeah. sure that I am caught up here. Uh, and I am caught up with all of the Super Chats. I hope I am at least. Um, I hope I didn't miss anybody um, because is that a, is very important to this me. This is an important stream for Ed, so I want to make sure we don't overstep. Is it? Yeah. 20,000 subscriber stream. Oh, yeah. Well, we don't want to we don't want to impede on that. So listen, everybody no. go over there. Uh, Zen Ginger just put that in the uh, in the chat there. Yeah. So click on that. You have our permission. Go now. And uh, and, and we hope you enjoy it. Ed is a great guy. I adore that guy. And uh, I hope I get to see him at Aquashillas this year. Go over there and use hashtag stop for cats. You can make people type all that. If they care, they will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, yes, uh, I will turn it over to you because otherwise I'll never say goodbye. I know. But anyways, thank you so much for being here tonight. Sorry I wasn't in a real chipper mood. I'm still getting over this crap that I've had. Oh, I thought you were going to interrupt me. I was your light. Oh, but anyways, thank you for, for being here. Lurking, chatting, super chatting, gifting memberships. Thank you, mods. You guys are awesome. We have the best mods. Um, and uh, enjoy the rest of your night. Go check out Edge Stream and hashtag stop for cats. <laughs> Bye.